Hey guys, this will be a really quick tutorial on how to turn any picture into PNG or so-called how to remove the background. Without wasting time, let's take a look at the picture we selected. I just selected this PC tower here, random from the internet, and uh, I want to take only the tower and not the wall because I want to use the tower in another project I have on a Photoshop or wherever you want to attach it. Well, let's get into it. It's totally free and it's by a tool provided by Microsoft. It's called Paint 3D. Right click on the picture and you click Edit with Paint 3D. When it opens up, in this case, you go to Magic Select and you get these lines as close to the object but without touching it as possible. As you see right here, we got all the corners right next to it. We click next, and as you see, for the most part, it did a good selection, but we can click remove to actually make it even better. This one looks like it's a light, but we can try to remove it. As you see, boom, now it's removed. We go underneath, we want to remove this part here, and so on. You get the point even if I don't do this one completely perfect, because I'm just showing it so it's possible. You don't need to pay any software or make it look harder than it is. As you see, it removed the leg. Remove this part here. And we have legs quite clean. Not extremely clean, but it's quite good. If you want to go in detail, you can go in and try to remove these parts here, but usually you don't need to, unless it's another picture that you have a human being that you want to go in more details. And when you're done with your selection, you uncheck this autofill background here and you click done. In this, uh, at this point, do not hit save or anything yet. Go to canvas right here on top and click transparent canvas first. Then undo the show canvas. As you see, it brought us the part of the picture that we need. We click menu and we click save as. And we click it, save as image. You click instead of JPEG, you go to PNG. Right now it's on PNG. You check transparency here. Don't forget to check transparency. And then you click save. And you can save it wherever you like. I'm going to put it just on the desktop. Now it's saved. I can click out. I don't need to save or do anything else. And uh, let me demonstrate real quick. What can we do with it? Let's say we search for table. Let's say we grab uh, this table here. View, save as, uh, save the table. Then we go to a photo editor, which is actually free. It's an online web-based photo editor. And uh, it's iPicky, iPicky. Dot com. We chose to choose to edit a photo. We open the photo and we open the table we just selected. And now, if you did your adjustments and whatnot that you need here, in this case, I'm just going to crop it a little bit so it's easier for you to see from closer. Apply here and we go to the layers. We go to add a photo, add images. And we grab the PC tower. We put the PC tower on. And as you see, you can tweak more. You can spin it. You can put it the way you want. You can try to balance the whole uh, interaction with it. You can uh, choose what kind of insert you want to do with it. I'm not going to do any of that. This is just to show you that it's possible. You click apply. You click apply again. Save it. You give it a name, nameless table. You go to the highest quality if you want to, save to my computer. Go to desktop, save it, close photo, minimize. And here is our new photo with a PC that we just cut out from a full picture. It's not the best, but this is just for demonstration purposes only. And uh, with that said, if you don't mind, liking and subscribing would be great, or sharing with someone would be even amazing. 
If not, anyway, I thank you for your time, and I hope it helps somebody out there, and I uh, hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. Bye!